So we're checking the Rotomel today, and as I sit here watching it, I'm watching bubbles. Very, very, very slowly. But we're gonna take a reading on this and see where it's at. All right, so I'm just gonna pull the airlock and stopper out. Handy dandy measuring materials. Do you wanna put the hydrometer in first? It's been our new thing, it seems to work. I like it. It's not how I learned to do it, but it's okay. Now, because there's leaves and stuff in here, I wanna make sure I go below that. And it's still, I, I still got some. <laughs> I don't know how. Now, something I want to mention at this point. I have been doing the give this a shake thing. Not in the last couple of days because I knew we were going to be testing it. But uh, I was shaking it up and I would smell the airlock because, you know, we all smell our airlocks. And, yeah. And it didn't smell like rose. Okay. I'm smelling the mint much more than anything. So, what we might be doing in addition to taking a reading today is adding more rose. I think that's probably going to be a thing. But I'm going to hand that to Derica and let's see where we're at on this. I don't think this is totally done. And that's okay. We can add stuff at, the, at this point anyway. Alright, so this is at 1028. That means it's at 13.2% point, alcohol. Got my mix all talked up there. Which tells me that there's still some room to go here. Because we use Lalvin 71B yeast, which has a 14% tolerance. So this still has some room. But you know what I want to do? I want to take a small taste of this and see if we need to make additions. It's probably going to taste a little on the sweet side right now. Which I'm not bothered by at all. It's very cloudy. So it, we know this is not done or cleared. It was bubbling, so we know it's uh, still working. I'm not afraid to pour that back in, because everything was sanitized in. The red bucket of sanitization! And this is still a primary fermentation. It's going to be degassing. There's plenty of gas in there. Trust me. Let's see. Smell that. It's, it's shockingly different than what I thought it was going to be, but it's really good. It smells like ginger. Yeah. Like the, the peppery notes of ginger. Now, what's in here is mint, rose petals, and lime leaves. I'm thinking the lime leaves and the mint yeah. mixed together makes a gingery type of flavor. But that means this is not so much a rotomel as a mintamel or a limamel or something. It tastes really nice, though. It tastes weird. Really? I like it. It tastes like ginger milk. Like, like it tastes a lot like the ginger meat. Okay, so, see that? We have differing opinions on this one. What I'm getting, though, is that this is not a rotomel right now. So I want to make it a rotomel. How do I do that? Add more rose petals. Easy. We are not going to touch this probably for another two to three weeks. So I can add a significant amount and kind of have control over that. So I'm thinking we used a half an ounce of rose petals in the beginning. I'm going to put in another half ounce right now, just dry add them. That way they'll just kind of infuse with what's already there. Okay. We're going to use the poor man's funnel. It's known as a piece of paper. Just kind of go like that. Can you hold that? Right. And like I said, half an ounce. I'm afraid to put in a full ounce simply because I don't want to overpower now, but I think it does need a little bit more. Okay, so we got our half ounce put in there, and wow, it's almost like we left enough headroom just to do something like this. However, I didn't. This was not really planned. Okay, I found my uh, solid bung, solid stopper, and uh, saves my thumbs now. What I'm going to do is mix this up really good. I want to make sure all of that dry gets in there really good. Now, at this point, you might be wondering why I didn't remove the lime leaves and things like that. I'm wondering that myself. I probably should have, but we didn't. So we're moving forward. Why didn't I? Because it's a lot easier to just add something to it than to take something out first and then add something to it. So instead, this might be like a rose-flavored minty thing. I, I think I kind of like that, though. I want it to be that way. It's my story, and I'm sticking to it. It didn't need much. Prepare for... Oh yeah. See? That's why we don't worry about mixing this up again. Plenty of gas in there. Yeah. 
Now, it's a good idea to degas this a bit because that way it'll let the yeast keep working in case they were starting to get a little tired, you know. Um, but I don't want to go too far. I want to see bubbles still breaking. That way I know that gas is forcing out oxygen. So let's take that. And at this point, there's no reading to take because we didn't add any more sugars. We simply added some rose petals to give it more color, to add more rosy flavor to it. So we're just going to put our airlock right back on. Okay, so we're going to take the airlock, put it in. From the top, it looks like fruity pebbles. It really does. I'm just putting the airlock right back on, just like before. And hopefully this continues working, that little more that it has to go. At that point, which will probably be, eh, like I say, about three, three weeks or so we'll give this. We'll do another test just like this, and you get to see the results. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. So let me have the uh, bum uh, bung. So let me have the bum. Let me have the bung of thumb saving. <laughs>